Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and uh, it's a very special one for me because this is my 24 hour Alice's Men Readathon reading vlog. I'm hosting this readathon which is absolutely crazy but I'm doing it. <laughs> so it's nearly midnight, it's oh my gosh it's 11 44 pm i have to go make some coffee and then i have to read <laughs> for 24 hours i tried to have a nap when i came back from paris today because i went to paris to have a tattoo appointment i got two tattoos so i tried to have a nap from 6 pm to 11 but uh, let's just say that maybe i slept for two hours something like that so i need coffee but yeah i'm just going to make some coffee and then i will read i will start with hot Soda volume one and two and i will be also doing a reading sprint it's really happening i'm <laughs> this is amazing can we talk about my cat just one second look <laughs> are you okay okay cool I have some watermelon that my mom caught me and I have a BB and it's nearly midnight so I'm going to eat some watermelon, drink coffee, hang out with this beautiful baby. Oh you're tired. Well too bad we have to stay up for 24 hours baby. Mommy's going to drink some coffee. You don't care. Okay, so the real film has officially started. It's midnight and I'm about to read this beautiful baby. Sorry, my hair is a bit wet because I took a shower, but who cares? But yeah, I'm going to read volume one of Hot Stopper. I'm about to read some watermelon and of course, drink some coffee. Ooh, perfect temperature. So... Happy rear fun. <laughs> I'm honestly so excited. I still have my cat on my couch. She's a baby. I love her. Do you ever just think about how fucking cute Charlie is? Like, um, excuse me, sir. Why are you so adorable? Who allowed you? He's just a cinnamon roll and I want to protect him. I love the fact that make a fellow chaotic bisexual wants to protect him as well. So just look at my boy. <laughs> I love them so much. Oh my gosh. I've read her stuff her for the first time last year in january something like that and then i reread it all throughout the year and then i started following the webcomic and everything and sorry if you can hear something it's my fan because it's really hot so yeah like i was saying i just like started to keep up with all the updates and everything and i just fell in love with nick and charlie i fell in love with the way nick discovers that he's bisexual it's very soft and i love that we get to see more of charlie and his eating disorder it's really important to me so yeah i just feel so connected to this graphic novel and i'm so thankful alice's men decided to share the story with us because i'm so so emotional about it <laughs> but yeah it's already 15 minutes into the readathon i'm on page 48 it's a graphic novel so it reads really quickly but i wanted to share my thoughts with you and yeah that's all i have to say right now i just wanted to share with you the fact that i love love nick and charlie i love them <laughs> uh i talked with you like two minutes ago but i needed to share this with you how cute is he i can't i just i love him he's soft and i'm soft for soft people so My reading spring has started, so I shouldn't be talking with you, but I just want to say that I love, love Tori. I love the relationship Charlie and her have, like, this right here. 
evening school oh my gosh i just love tori and i can't wait to read solitaire just to see her more i love her she is precious and i know a lot of people don't like solitaire as much as they do love like all the other Alice books but Solitaire has a very special place in my heart and I just want to say that I love her I love her and Charlie together they're so pure and I'm going back to my reading sprint bye <laughs> okay I'm here one more time like it's like one minute after I talk to you but look at my girl I'm very soft for these praying siblings Let's just say it. And my hair looks like nothing. Great. <laughs> I just love how everybody's like, so we know that Nick has a crush on Charlie, right? Like, it's something we all accept. And I think that's so cute. That's so adorable. And that's also so funny to me. And I don't know, I just... <sighs> Alice Osman did such a great job with this graphic novel. <laughs> I'm soft. I'm so soft. I think if I was any softer, I would be a marshmallow, so... Great. I just love the rugby coach. She's a lesbian, and at some point, like, when all of... Nick's friends are like, he has a crush on Charlie. She's like, you can't tell whether people are gay by what they look like. And gay or straight, only, only two options. Anyway, it's very rude to speculate about people's sexuality. She's an icon. She's an icon. I love her. You know who else is an icon? Nick. Nick is a freaking icon. You know what, Harry? Fuck you. You're pathetic, homophobic, self-obsessed dick, and I really dislike you. <laughs> I love my boy. I love him. <laughs> so I know that technically my ring sprint isn't done yet because it's 12.50, something like that. But I've just finished volume one. And <laughs> as you saw, I had all the feels. I, I'm very passionate about this graphic novel. I have so much love for it i'm like so passionate about this graphic novel that i was part of the kickstarter and it was so soft it was so soft i want to show you my favorite panel because i think it's very beautiful very very beautiful i just love like all the flowers and everything it's beautiful i love it let me show you that it's signed and i really love how it looks it's so cute and now I'm going to read the second volume and date you all throughout my reading. Um, <laughs> I just love them so much. I really want to give it five stars. I really, really want to because I had such, such a good time. But like I said in my July wrap up, because I read the second volume in July as well, I don't give the volume um five stars because i gave the entire graphic novel webcomic five stars on goodreads so usually i give each volume 4.75 i'm very torn very torn but now i'm going to read volume two it's right here it's beautiful it's also signed even though i took the sticker because yeah i have my baby boy <laughs> look Ooh, I'm very excited to reread this one, even though I've reread it last month. But um, you can't reread these graphic novels so many times. Everybody knows that. <laughs> so I'm going to finish my coffee. Sorry. I'm going to finish my coffee and start this volume. I'm so happy. <laughs> so volume two focuses a lot more on Nick discovering that he's bisexual. And every single time I reread it, I'm just hurt like i want to fucking cry because relatable like when nick goes to charlie's house to tell him that kissing him wasn't a mistake and it's like i'm just so sorry i ran away i was just freaking out like honestly i'm having a proper full-on gay crisis it's not that i didn't want to you know kiss you i was just so confused i've just been so so confused and i didn't expect that to happen yesterday it's not like 
I didn't want to, but I hadn't really psyched myself up. And then bloody side turns up and I wanted to stay with you. But, but I didn't want other people to see us doing that. I mean, I'm not ashamed. I'm just, it was just, I just need some time to figure this out. I just need a bit more time. Like, okay, make me cry. Like, okay, good, 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 good. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> It just gets to me every single time and I'm I'm so soft for him and I just want to protect him and I love that this volume focuses on discovering his bisexuality like I love that volume 3 focuses on Charlie's eating disorder I just love that each volume focuses on something very specific and the fact that we have an entire volume about Mick being bisexual it means a lot. It just means a lot. So another proof that Nick and I are the same person. We use this, the same heart emoji. <laughs> he uses like the double heart. Um, can you see it right here? And that's the one I always use. So we're the same person. I I, I don't make the rules. We're the same person. Hello. Hmm. No, 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 don't. So it's one fifty, and I just finished volume two. It took me a bit of time because I started cuddling with my cat. Oops. <laughs> But I'm done and I have so much love for this particular volume like at the end when Nick comes out to his mom and she's like I love you no matter what and I'm like okay cool I'm not crying it's very soft and I love that in this volume we have an exclusive Ta and Darcy short story and I love them so I thought it was really fun and yeah I'm very soft very very soft i love these boys so much <laughs> i'm really happy right now i'm really really happy i've read these two babies and now i'm soft and i don't know what to do with myself <laughs> i'm probably going to read which one is it one of the two novellas this winter i'm going to read this winter before i read solitaire because i think this winter takes place before solitaire i'm really starting to get tired though so but yeah that's the update for now i'm very happy people have been amazing on instagram and twitter i've also like taking a bit more time to read these graphic novels than i usually do because i've been interacting with people and i i just love it i feel like i'm really about this small community like we all love alisa's men and i think that's really really cool this is a great thing this is a great thing <laughs> Okay, so it's nearly three in the morning and I just finished this winter. It was a lot to take in. Like I've already read it once last year, but this time it was hard, like it was like a punch in the gut, so that was nice. This particular novella focuses a lot on Charlie dealing with his eating disorder that really got to me. And I started crying, so uh, great stuff. <laughs> I really didn't remember how much I actually loved this novella. I love that it focuses on Tori, Charlie, and Oliver, their little brother, and the relationship they have together. It's really soft their relationship, but yeah, uh, having Charlie talking about his his anorexia I was really hard I had to stop like for a few minutes but I, now I'm done and I went on Amazon and I think I'm going to listen to the audiobook of Solitaire because I'm tired 
and I would really like to maybe go lie in bed and listen to it and I think I will actually like the narrator of this audiobook I listen to the sample and I like her voice so hopefully I will like it but yeah that's it for now I'm going to drink some water I probably go to bed It's 7.30, my mom and I are trying to look for a kitten that she found yesterday in the forest just behind my house and like yesterday was 4 meters high in the um, in the tree so we couldn't get to, her, to it but it's not here anymore so we're looking for it and we're not finding it Hey, it's nearly 8 a.m. I'm back home. Like I said, we didn't find the kitten, but my mom, she's going to bring my dog to the tree where the kitten was to try and find it. But yeah, book update. I have maybe 30 minutes left in my audiobook of Solitaire. I mostly listen to it, like, like I said, in my bed. I've just chilled with my cat and play some games on my phone and now I'm going to eat breakfast, drink water and then I make some coffee okay so I just checked and I'm on page 328 so I've read this, I have this to read it's been such a good reread honestly I'm having so much fun I love love Tori and I love Michael He's such a sweet snowman rule, I love him. He doesn't li liberalise his sexuality, but I think Alice was meant to say that he was pansexual. So... Nice. <laughs> and I finished Solitaire and this gave me all all the feels. I'd honestly forgotten how much I loved this book and honestly I'm quite surprised because I hadn't forgotten much about the story and like there were some really good quote and one that made me laugh so much is when Michael said you hate yourself, I hate myself, come on interest, we should get together. <laughs> That was so funny, I was listening to that and I started laughing. <laughs> but yeah, I finished this book. So I, I've read four, four things so far. I'm really happy with that. I'm organizing another reading sprint at 9am. So I will read the novella Nick and Charlie. But before that, I'm going to make some coffee and enjoy something warm. And yeah.
That was so good. I really like the Audrey book. I like the narrator. She's really good. And uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think I made a bad choice by deciding to listen to the Audrey book of this one. And I will definitely listen to it again in the future. I really liked it. It's 10, 13 and this vlog has been incredibly boring. <laughs> I just finished Nick and Charlie, the novella, and honestly it fucking broke my heart. This novella is very sad but also very helpful. I actually think I'm going to take my car and drive to the mall to get to Starbucks because I feel like getting a nice Americano for some reason, even though I've never had an Americano at Starbucks before, but there's a first for everything. <laughs> but yeah, that could make this vlog a bit more entertaining for you, I'm sorry. Also, there is a bookstore at the mall, so I could go there as well. And I would listen to my OG book of Radio Silence while being there and driving. I actually think that I will read I was born for this also as an audiobook because I also have it and I don't know I feel like it's really helping me I'm just really tired my eyes have been hurting me these past few weeks my medication has an effect on the pressure on my eyes so it's been hurting so I think I'm just going to like to listen to the audiobook for the three books and I don't mind because I love the narrator of Radio Silence and I was born for this she's the same narrator for both I mean, in I was born for this, she only does Angel's Voice. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I just want to get out of my house. <laughs> you like that, son? <laughs> um, so I've just arrived at the mall. I'm tired, but I feel a bit more awake, let's say it. And I'm ready for some coffee. I'm ready to go to the bookstore. I'm really excited. I had... A nice ride. I guess you can say that. I listened to Radio Silence. I love that I know like some of the moments by heart. It's really funny to me. And I just love Francis and Ale. Like the friendship is everything. But yeah, let's go and have some coffee and stop talking in the car by myself. <laughs> Sorry for the weird noise, I'm in my kitchen. I just got home from the mall. It's 1.30 in the afternoon and I'm going to eat, finally. I'm really hungry, I had a great time at the mall. I found some new jeans I really love, which I showed you, and also found a dress, but you can't see it. <laughs> that was my attempt. <laughs> to show you how it looks, I really like it. It's a very, very simple dress. The noise just stopped. 
Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that and then I will walk my dog with my mom and I'm going to take some time off reading because I I've been listening to the audiobook since I basically left home so I just need some time off reading so I'm just going to watch maybe one or two YouTube videos and I'm going to watch some YouTube videos and then walk my dog and then I will go back to reading but I'm more than halfway through Radio Silence so I'm around time to finish all the books before midnight which I'm really really happy about I'm loving Radio Silence I'm just loving it I mean it's my third or fourth reread so obviously it's a book I know really well it's one of my awesome favorite books like I told you earlier I know some of the lines by heart <laughs> but yeah it's been amazing i'm loving the friendship between francis and aled it's so pure i love it when aled says i'm platonically in love with you <laughs> this line is amazing <sighs> yeah i just really love it i'm always super sad when we get to know more about aled's mom she's evil let's, let's just say it i really really hate her yeah i hate it i hate it you know when people start knowing that Aled is the creator. I think that's really shitty from people. Like, you shouldn't have to ask for your privacy to be respected. It's always something that makes me really angry when people are like telling Frances that she's lying whenever she says that Aled is not the creator because she wants to protect him. And they were like, lol, you're lying, you're such a bad liar. But like, guys, don't you realize that if your creator Aled just doesn't feel comfortable anymore with you. You won't have your show anymore. I don't understand. I, I really don't understand people sometimes. But yeah, that's my update for now. I'm going to eat. I had an Americano. I went to Starbucks and I asked for a vanilla iced Americano and they forgot the vanilla. So I just had a plain iced Americano, which, which is good. But I just wanted some vanilla. But what can you do? <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to eat and see you in a bit. Bye! everybody to know that I made some cookies they look amazing the chocolate chips cookies my mom had two and she said they were good I haven't tried them yet but they look really good honestly I'm pretty proud of myself mm. so it's a bit past six and I've finished radio silence I've actually finished it an hour ago but I went and took a shower this was so lovely I will never get tired of it it's a beautiful book it's such an important book that talks about going to university or not going to university it's basically saying that university is not for everybody and there isn't just one way to have a good future you don't have to go to university not everybody has to be successful at school to have a great future i think it's very very important to talk about that this book is actually the first book that i read with a demisexual main character i led is demisexual and that made me so happy especially considering that Frances is bisexual and biracial. It just means a lot to me to have these three representation in one book. I just love it so, so much. <laughs> I love the audio book. Like I said, I love the narrator. I can't wait to listen to I Was Born For This because she's also the narrator of Angel. So I'm really, really happy about that. What can I say? I just love this book. Like, I don't see myself ever not liking this book. No, I just... I don't think that's possible. It's an automatic five stars for me. I don't even have to think about it. It's my baby. 
I love it. <laughs> and now I'm going to listen to the audiobook of I Was Born For This. So this audiobook is nine hours long, but I listened to it on double speed. So it will take me a bit under five hours to read. Something I love about this book is that there are so many great characters, so many characters that you just can't help but fall in love with them. I'm, I can't wait to see my baby listed but once again i love him he's not even the main character like he is the side character that i absolutely adored i love him with my entire heart i'm very happy that jimmy ends up with him it's something that makes me incredibly happy i just love that alice has is given us all the extra content about these two it's it's amazing i just i love them so yeah, I'm just going to start reading this baby and I will update you at some point. I'm sorry that I can't film myself when I'm reading because I'm listening to the audiobook on my phone and I'm filming this with my phone and I can't film and listen to the audiobook. So it's not really the type of reading vlog that I usually do, but usually I show myself reading the book. But yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if you don't like it. Hey, it's 8.15 and I'm about 120 pages into I was born for this. I've read this and I have this left to read. My audiobook tells me that I have about three hours to go, so I can do it. That's actually very exciting. I've been doing my journal and journaling at the same time as I'm listening to the audiobook. I've been talking with some friends and now I'm going to just update my reading journal because I haven't updated it in a while, so might as well do that. And um, yeah, I'm going to drink some water because I feel like I'm a bit dehydrated for some reason. Then I would like to organize another reading sprint because I was hosting one at 7 p.m. So I know that some people did the reading sprint, but I would just totally forgot about it so i would like to organize another one maybe one that is an hour long let me drink a bit i'm very very thirsty and then we'd like to reply to some of the tweets i got and some of these stories have been tagged in so many people have tagged me in this series that makes me really really happy a lot of people have used the hashtag on twitter it's absolutely amazing i'm so happy like thank you thank you for participating in this little real fun that makes me really happy um so i just want to remember to know that i love lister bird like <laughs> i love him so much my little bisexual icon i love him i love him i love him i love him I'm... it looks like i have a thing for Alice's men's bisexual boys. Like, they're just amazing and I can relate to them so much and I love them and I want to protect them. <laughs> I love them so much. Also, I've just learned that there is a story of Jimmy freaking out about some photo shoot listed did. Like, it's on Alice's Tumblr and I had no idea about it so the moment i'm done with i was one for this i'm reading the story and i love them so much <laughs> i love lister but i love jimmy i love ron i just love these boys so much <laughs> but lister but is my favorite i'm i just love him <laughs> i love him i will protect him at all costs honestly <laughs> i'm exhausted <laughs> like seriously exhausted it's 11 52 i finished i was born for this 20 minutes ago something like that i had a lot of things to post on instagram and twitter to announce that i was done so now i'm updating this vlog i think i love it even more than the first time i had underestimated my love for lister but for jamie for angel <laughs> i love them i love them it's um i can't explain how much i love them and how much this book means to me i think this book is just really really well done i love the commentary that alice's man does with this book that 
it's okay, you know, to love a band so much, but you can't love this band more than you love yourself. Like, you have to think about yourself first. You're important. You matter. This was brilliant. I was so really, really appreciated. Jimmy suffering from anxiety and panic attack. It was amazing. It was amazing. I loved it so fucking much. Yeah. But that means I've read all the books Alice Man ever published. That's what it means. I'm done. I've read 1873 pages. I haven't slept at all. <laughs> I'm exhausted, but I'm so happy. I wasn't sure how people would react when I announced this readathon. People have just been amazing. I've had such amazing day. I'm so surprised that so many people decided to participate to share their thoughts with me. Like so many people tagged me and I don't know it, it just it feels like something special you know. I'm very very grateful like to everybody who participated that means so much to me. Thank you so much and I hope that if one day I decide to do this again, like maybe for the publication of Loveless, you guys will say, yeah, sure, like, let's do this again. It was great the first time, so why not? Like, I just hope you had an amazing time. That's all that matters to me. It's not important that you read one book, two books, three books, all seven. What matters is that you had fun and um, just know that I had such a blast spending my entire day with you was amazing i'm so very grateful and i know this vlog is is boring like let's just say it i decided to stay home today because i knew i wouldn't be able to stay to stay up for 24 hours and do a lot of things so i knew it was boring i spent most of my day at my desk i listened to audiobooks so like wasn't able to film myself reading i know it's not the most entertaining but that being said i still hope you had fun like watching me talk about these books that mean so much to me i just hope that you found something in this vlog to your liking <laughs> and i hope that if you've never read any alice osman book i gave you the want to pick up some of the books that was a very special day to me and i'm very emotional and yeah i'm just very thankful i didn't know if i would be able to read all of these books i didn't know if i would be able to stay up for so long but somehow i did and i don't know i feel very proud of myself and i'm very proud of all of you so that's what i'm going to end this vlog on <laughs> a positive note and yeah just i love you all so so much Thank you so much for participating. It means the absolute world to me. I'm just really happy. That's all I have to say. <laughs> so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would make me really happy. If you're not subscribed yet, maybe you can. Of course, only if you want. And if you want to be notified for whenever I post a new video, click on the little bell. But like I said, this is the end of this video. So I hope you will have an amazing rest of your day. Please remember that you're loved. And I will see you in another video. Bye. And I'm going to go to bed now.